Infected Savage. Alright, I love my chainsaw too much to give it up. What do we got? A big horner over here? Someone's, someone uh, friendly? Hmm. Hey guys. What's going on? Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. Thank you. I think uh, you guys are getting shot at. You boys need some help over here? You're shooting. Shooting at those boys over there? Alright. See how much of a... Alright, retreating. They're just kind of hanging. Well, I would like to get some XP. Oh yeah, they like their melee fights. <laughs> Should have ran. Should have ran when you had the chance. Ooh, is there someone over here? <gasps> Wait. You there? On what business do you invade our land? You know, just chopping and chopping. You're not insane. That's a nice change of pace. What's with the crazy guys attacking me? Sorry to hear about your trouble. I'm looking for Chieftain Uga. Um, you're not insane. That's a nice change of pace. You speak with a sound mind. This is good news. The Taken Ones have run over our lands and hold us hostage here. They come day and night by the hundreds, destroying everything they once loved. They take our healthy warriors and turn them to their evil. I'm um, looking for Chieftain Uga. Silverman of New California sent you? We wondered when he would get our message. Come, this path will take you to the Chieftain. Hey, Ben, do you know these? No, actually, you don't. You know the guys who were, uh... Now, I'm thinking of that guy that was in the camp. That wouldn't let us look at that one terminal. Where, where he, there he is. Is that the chief over there? Is he praying to the rock gods? Are we gonna get to, we get, Oh, are we gonna get a rock concert? <gasps> That'd be great. Can I go ahead, or do I gotta stick with you? All right, I am gonna run ahead. Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. Thank you. All right, left or right? What do we got? Can't read that. Ah, that says chieftain. Okay. Diabula. Huh. You guys got some nice stuff going on over here. Ooh, you got windmills. I'm a sucker for windmills. Oh, this is fantastic. Avatar. Hey, Avatar. Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. Do you connect your hair to that? Oh. This is the most magnificent Christmas tree I've ever seen. Hello, reindeer. Welcome to Ziabula, city of the forgotten gods. Home of the free California tribe. Come, sit. What is this infection that's driving the tribals mad? We need the water turned back on so Union City can fight the raiders. What's this infection? It is the mind virus. An infection that robs the living of their soul and replaces it with that of a demon. The demon king sends it to fester in our young. He seeks to destroy our kind so that he may reign free over the lands he wishes to possess. Um, Demon King? What are you guys doing to stop this outbreak? Demon King? Yes, the evil one. 
trapped in the prison of ten thousand horrors to the east in the shadow of the bare mountain. He has ravaged these lands for many years, stealing our children, mothers, brothers. Uncles. He leaves only pain in his wake, a fate worse than death. Our tribe now suffers here on the edge of the Great Divide. The end of our time between the old world and the new. But the Demon King, his reign cannot last in the face of defined life. He must scorch the earth, leaving only barren wastes. Emptiness is his empire. Uh, what are you guys doing to stop the outbreak? We hold our lines at the canyon. We send hunters to kill the lost ones before they return to do us harm. We are searching for a champion, a hero of our own kin to rise, to slay the Demon King and his army of horrors. But we fear they may not come. We have turned off the water from our tribe's fountain in hopes that the virus will not spread and to get the attention of the Silver Man. <gasps> Silver Man? All right, let's talk about our situation here. As you wish. You may state your business here in Ziabula. Ziabula. We need the water turned back on. Union City needs it to fight the raiders. This is possible, you see. But the magic is not of our tribe. The water's ghost has died and must be awakened. He no longer hears our cries at his altar, and the waters no longer flow. Those that drink are infected by the mind virus. We have water here that can be spared and carried on foot to your silver man. Or... If you have the thunder in your hands, restore the ghost of the waters. Oh, I got the thunder, and I'm going to make a clap. This ghost, I'm guessing it's a, a technology. Where is it? Is it really possible to carry all that water to Union City on foot? Uh, is it possible? Indeed. The gods of lightning once lived in the veins of the down below. The ghost of the Rossman lives there in the walls. Rossman, as in Dr. Kevin Rossman? Huh, imagine that. All right, point me in the right direction. <laughs> uh, Kevin Rossman? Yes, his ghost has given us the water for many years and teaches our young the ways of the old gods. Huh, imagine that. The altar of the ghost is not far from here, around the bend from the canyon along the south wall of the Arroyo. Go now and see the ghost for yourself. Use the magic of thunder to restore the waters to us, and we will allow them to flow to your silver man's city. Ah, uh, sure. Mm, yes, it is possible, though not likely. You would have to be some kind of a superman. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you would have better luck pushing it back to your silver man city on a cart. But alas, none are here, so your strong back it must be. Recruit some friends to assist you. It cannot be so hard for you to make friends, no? All right, show me the cave and show me the water. Hmm, very well. You will find them around the camp. I wish you luck. And strong legs. Altar of the ghost key added. Alright, great. Pair the pipeline in the cave or carry at least 90 water jugs back to Union City. See if Doc Marius can help repair the pipeline in the cave. Oh, this is all the water. Oh, look at all the water they got. 15 magic pounds of water. Damn. Yeah, that would be a lot of water. Okay. Let's uh, not do that. <laughs> Head up north and see if we can uh, free the water with the power of thunder. 
Ooh, there's a baby face. Look at that baby face. Altar of the gods! Ghost. You dead? Were you guys shooting at something? What's going on over here? Hello. Oh. Okay. Hmm. No, we are definitely getting shot at. I got some poor shots over here. All right, everybody, get ready. Oh. Don't take your ripper out. Okay, never mind. Take the ripper out. Come on, really? Run back to your friend, fool. Alright, chainsaw it is. Oh. Keep distracting them. There you go. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, you got a grenade and some buff out. Cowboy repeater, nice. All right, into the great uh, baby center. Goodness, all right, yes. Big old barrel, you want to come down here? Say hi to your friends? Don't get stuck. There you go. Got some beers. Dude, watch where you're stepping. Shut up, Kira. Watch where you're shooting. Maybe that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, water. Or, er, not water, but a valve. Damn. All right, fixing things, built and buildings here. You can tell that turning this valve will restore clean water to Union City. However, it is stuck shut and you are unable to turn it. <laughs> it's just a toilet. Uh, well, this is uh, a little bit broken. Generator is clearly a jury rigged relic and isn't running at enough capacity for the terminal. If you have enough skills, you can fix it. 40 repair. 22, perfect. Fixing things. Building buildings here. Activate hologram. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. I don't think I have anything that gives me a. Uh science. Well, let's do that. Hello, Cortana. Oh man, genie is out of the bottle. <laughs> damn, this is a relief. Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hang on a minute. How long was I in there? Data check. Three days? That can't be right. I was, uh, oh, Hold on, we have guests. Gotta get my mojo together. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings, warrior of the California tribe. I am the great techno wizard, Dr. Rossman. Ask me your questions so that I may use science to reveal the wonders of the universe to you. Behold, the power of science will... Wait, you're not a tribesman. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Dr. Rossman? Yes, I am he. Well, his disembodied personality and magic blue smoke, anyway. Now I'll ask again, who are you? Oh, right. I'm Al Chesbreach. I'm, well, I was one of your students at Vault 18. What is this? This must have been built before we were adopted. It's scavenged from old Vault Tech. Here, look, Pip-Boy, enter this ID. 00024601. Hmm. Let's do this. One of my students, huh? Well... This is a hologram emitter, and I am the ghost of Christmas past. Until you come up with a way to prove to me who you are, I'm not going to divulge any of my secrets. All right, here you go. Two, four, six, 
one. Well, hot damn. This is a Vault 18, Pip-Boy. One of my old ones, if I ain't mistaken. Huh. Well, all right. I'll trust you. What is it that you need, kid? Where did you get a hologram emitter? Why is it here? Oh, well, <laughs> this is part of an old Wasteland Scout adventure. Something I, the great Dr. Kevin Rossman, cooked up to help the local tribes. None of them understood technology, you see. They needed a water source for their tribe. Just so happened, the emitter was still here. Some guy in the wasteland named Bragg showed us this vault on the map, so we gave him a place to live back home for the services. Then we decided to help out the tribe. I tell the tribesmen something in a language they understand, and fix their clean water supply, if I can. Say, you know anything about this water situation? Bragg never did tell us how he knew about this place. He claimed he was from Idaho. You mean Colonel Bragg? Holy shit, you let him in the vault? What was this, what was this vault here for? It's tiny. Uh, you let him in the vault? Colonel? Oh hell man, he's a wastelander. Ain't no Colonel. If we're being honest, he's just dirty. Not sure what he was doing with a water chip. Wow, you guys had no clue. You just let him into the vault and that was it. What do you mean? No man, you didn't make it. Nobody did. I'm one of the only ones left. Processing. Please wait. You mean... I'm dead? Oh, man. I knew this would happen someday, but I always expected I'd be old and gray. And the vault? All the scouts? Damn it. I should have been there. I could have done something. Distracted them or... Your hologram. Ah, who am I kidding? Oh. I'm just a hologram. Sorry. I can't even touch myself. Oh. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. This is all that's left. Four walls, a broken water line, and a slowly fading hologram. Shit. Don't worry, I got revenge for you. Bragg is dead. Twice, actually. What do you mean, twice? You mean that motherfucker who killed me came back from the dead like some kind of zombie? Something like that. Don't worry, he's definitely dead now. The vault exploded with him in it. You see, that last part is not making me feel <laughs> any better. Damn. You should have just left me in that hard drive. I was happier. I don't want to know any more details. Not right now, anyway. Go on and tell me why you're here. Uh, FEV plague, Dr. Kyoto cursed is back. We need to help you to cur uh, cure it. Aw, oh, man, it's great to see you. I thought I'd never run into you again. So this water situation, anything you can do about it? Why did vault Tech build the vaults as experiments? What's the point? Uh, yeah. It's back, huh? And the tribal shut me off, didn't they? That would explain why I was offline so long. Listen, my job here is to keep the water system clean and full of the antivirus. I can't vaccinate dead people, understand? All we can do now is prevent more folks from getting infected, purge the system, and get it flowing again. Right, so how do we do that? Well, now that I'm back online, I can set it up. All you have to do is turn on the water valve and let it flow. All right, I can turn a valve. Good, just head out there and get it running, and I'll start fixing things. I do want to ask you. Aha! Back out of the box again. Yee ha! <laughs> oh, hey, kid. You here for that quick math lesson before running off into the wasteland? No. I have a whole differential equation set no, to. Please. Whoa. Hey, now. What's up with the long face? You all right? Great to see you. I thought I'd never run into you again. Hell, I'd say the same, but I just met you. You got a legacy to carry on in the real world. Make sure it counts. So this water situation, anything you can... Yes, he did. Why did vault -Tec build the vaults as experiments? What's the point? Well, from what I was able to find out in Vault 18, the Enclave were in control of the vault -Tec program. There were a few dozen vaults built to work as intended, and hundreds meant to test people under varying bizarre experiments. Vault 69 was built to contain 990 women and just one man. Vault 68, the opposite. Vault 10 was stocked with nothing but super fattening hyperfood, and Vault 42 only had lights under 40 watts. As you can imagine, there were countless thousands of people in every vault, each just as weird as the last. But why? Honestly, I can't tell you. My only theory is that some were designed to test long-term space travel. Maybe the Enclave planned to destroy the Earth and use the Gek to build a new one on Mars. But others, I think it was just the product of a twisted mind. Even Vault 18 wasn't free. 
but we were designed as a control vault on the surface until you see all the hundreds of cables spread all over. The real experiment was to test the reaction of a control vault that discovered all the others were psychotic experiments. They wanted to see how we'd react to the knowledge that so many others were part of a sick game and if we would push to self-destruct, but we aborted that early on. I guess it doesn't matter now. Besides you and me, no one will ever know. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Sure I can, but you gotta get the footwork to get it running again. I'll start pumping the vaccine and antivirals into the stream. Just turn it on. Head back out to the main cavern and switch on the flow valve. I'll get the motors running from here. All right. All right, that sounds good. And hey, tell the tribes they can come and pay me a visit anytime. Playing science guy is about my only occupation. So it's nice to teach the locals about things they've never dreamed of. Stars being far away, the cells in your hands more numerous than grains of sand on a beach. Can you imagine learning that for the first time? Being that I'm dead, it's good to know that the light of knowledge can still shine on the world. Even down here in the dark. Good luck to you, kid. Thank you, Robo Rossman. You're a hero to us all. Alright, so is it just this one? Computers unlocked the valve for you and you are able to turn it, restoring clean water to Union City. Alright, sweet, awesome. Anything else? Aha! Oh. <laughs> Hey, kid. <laughs> uh, also, I want to do that one because there was one like short. What was uh, what was this vault here for? It's tiny. Oh, I don't know if anyone in Vault 18 ever told you this, but the vaults, well, they were never meant to save anybody. They ran experiments on the people inside. Torture, more like. Some kind of sick entertainment. This one here was built for three men. One locked in an isolation chamber with infinite food and water. The other two in the control room. The two men in the booth were locked in, watching one man with everything to survive, but they had nothing but their keyboards. They could torture the man in here by using this hologram. If he went for food or water, they'd attack him. But they would slowly starve to death, no matter what they did. The joke here is, they were as much a part of the experiment as he was. Eventually, they died together, and the man was left insane until dying alone of old age. Uh -huh. Fast forward a few decades, and here we are. Water still flows, and the emitter still works. Now that's a good thing for the locals. A good end to a bad tale. It's a good way to, uh... <laughs> that was uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a positive message, I know. But somebody has to tell the story of what happened here. While he was waiting to die, the old man painted pictures on the walls in blood, urine, and shit. Of course, he was crazy. But that's art for you. Years of it. We buried his bones in the desert. Seems like a fitting end to his tale, letting his spirit rest outside. Now the locals worship him like some kind of god, saying his works will lead them to salvation. And I teach him about science. So it works out okay. I would like to see these poop art. All right, that sounds good. That sounds great. I'll show you the poop art. My legacy. Ooh, Rossman's old plasma pistol. Huh. <gasps> Ooh, death claw. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it took a long time, but finally my hologram is complete. P praise Robo Jesus. <laughs> in the event anything should happen to me, this hologram will be my final legacy in this ass backwards world of pseudoscience and maleficent, maleficent false prophets. I hope the hologram proves useful to those who need it, and if it can make their lives better in any way, then that will be good enough for me. I only pray this place is safely hidden from the raiders. Funny, in the end, I'll continue to exist as a machine. Growing up, I'd always dreamed what it would be like to be a robot. Now it's finally happening. In any event, if this should be my lasting memory, I'm wondering if I should program a fuck you message for Boss Maxon. Just in case, you know what I'm saying? Rossman. Oh, Rossman. Oh man, I shouldn't have sold that rat scorpion poison gland. All right. Return to Silverman. Tell him that I'm a hero and I deserve more money. And then push that wooden beam. I oh, know, it's just. Just a hanging out room. 
Oh my god. Jeez. Sledgehammer. Ooh. <gasps> Legion coins. Uh oh. What? Holy crap. All right. Damn. Over encumbered and loving it. Ooh, Avatar. Are you the same Avatar or are you a different Avatar? Hello, Traveler. Are you here to stay the night? Nope. Do you have anything to eat? I wish I could offer you more. <laughs> Ever since the Raiders took the highway, we've barely been scraping by. Man, you have a good amount of stuff here. I wish I had more, even more food. Here's some C4 and a time bomb. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy, uh, try not to blow yourself up. That's all I'm saying. Come. This path will take you to the chieftain. You have returned. Welcome back to Ziabula. Chieftain Uga, what was this place? You know, before the Great War. Do you know anything about my tribe? Anything about my star tattoo? Thanks for the talk. Um, what was this before the Great War? Ziabula was the home of a powerful wizard. A man who loved the bizarre and the impossible. In the lost time, there were a great many shrines of amusement across the world. People would come here to worship the old gods. They would laugh and rejoice, playing blood sports to the death, such as golf, hawk key, and softball. <laughs> Their weapons are still used by our warriors today. The old gods have been forgotten. Their names taken to the great beyond, as many tribes have been, including yours. You know anything about my tribe? Hmm, yes. We know of the Orion tribe. Of what they once were. They, like we, were exiles of the underground. You mean they were Vault 18 exiles? Yes, yes, but we dare not speak its name. We play the game in the California tribe to forget its place and numbers. Why do you forget? And how do you know about it if everyone tries to erase the memory? My friend Ben had a similar game he played. He lost his entire memory. Everything. What about the Orion tribe? Who were they? Um, why do you forget? Hmm, good knowing, you see. There is power in the knowing, and I am the chief. I wear the skull of the last, and the knowing is mine to give. Long ago in the early days, the exiles of Vault 18 walked this land, seeking a home. They found many enemies and many greedy spirits in the dark. Some were tortured to gain knowledge of the underground city and its location. To spare their children, they never told them where it was. Those that knew, they play the game. The rules are that you must forget the name. To remember is to lose. This way, you cannot be tortured into telling. It's huh. a good idea. My friend played that game. He, he, he won real good. You speak of Kurtz, of the California tribe. Yes, I remember him. He took up the forgetting fruit, and now he knows no truth. The game evolved into a sacrifice to the old gods. Their names and words are forgotten to us, and so too we forget those who pass through the veil. The world arising from the forgotten smoke of the old before. Kurtz now. He seeks in himself the truth, and finds a strength which was not there before. He left a boy. He returns a warrior. A warrior that knows nothing. What about the Orion tribe? Who were they? They were a tribe, one of many named after the stars. They were taken by the Demon King like many others. And you, their child, were taken in by the Ross Man. There is nothing left of the Orion now. Only you. There were only a few to begin with. 
and now they are none. It is a sad fate. You are alone. Well, that's cool. No one. I'm the last one alive. How uplifting. Forget it. I need to get going. Thanks for the chat. No one. I'm the last survivor. Yes, there were others with you when you were taken by the Ross Man. But you were unique. You, my lost child. You are a Brelinor. The lost. The unsired. The progeny of dark secrets and magic beyond this realm. Um, what? You listen to the devil come down from Georgia too many times, or what? <laughs> you think there are demons hiding nearby? Right, I don't think I want to hear anymore. I'll be on my way. You think there are demons nearby? Indeed, I do. I know that there are invisible demons lurking nearby, watching us speak. What? They remain still in the day, but at night you can hear them whispering madness to themselves. Whispering about you. I will say no more. Take your smiles away, and do not provoke them. Give me my smiles. Yes, Braylenor, you will find your way. May the raven shadows flee at the gaze of your rising sun. Go now. The path ahead is long and winding. And I shall ride it with a golden horse, shimmering of glitter. Hey, what are you doing here, Ugason? Ugason? Emotions of man, sides of man. Oh, what is that? Do you play poker? What's going on? Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. All right. I'm going to take these and read them later. And hopefully not forget. Ooh, Avatar. Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. Ooh, the ant, the ant person. Oh my goodness, I thought that was a million Nuka Quantums just hanging out. Forget the game. The game is about forgetting. Ooh, they got the fights going back, like huh? That? Wait, had that fallen before, or was was that? Yeah, I guess that was there before. Ooh, are you the judge? Who the hell are you? Stunning Stephen Bowie. What do you need? Nothing. I'm just admiring your hair. Bye. <laughs> You're the most magnificent man I've seen so far. You're beautiful. So, uh, you're welcome. Let me put on my, uh, gummy goggles. Alright, all good. Well, looks like everything's in order. 